Hello, thank you for uh, meeting with us today. Um, before we get started with the actual interview, I just want to make sure we have the, the accurate names and spellings of the names. Um, so I'll start with you. Can I get your name, please? My name is Kyle Harper Kennedy. Okay. And you, sir? Calvin Dubonnet. Calvin, not Kevin. Calvin, K-E-L-V-I-N. And Dubonnet, capital D, small u, capital B, like bonnet, okay. two N's and two T's. And you, young lady? And I'm Leslie Ann Dubonnet, spelled the same as my dad. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Um, as we were looking at um, the pre-interview questions, it, it looks like, particularly you, have been involved in pageants for, for a pretty substantial amount of time. How, how long have you been involved in pageants? This little darling right here was three weeks old when we got into the pageants. She won first place in her first contest, and she was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's how beautiful she is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and, and this first pageant that she entered, how, how did you even find out about pageants? Or how, how were you aware well, of Well, I work at the, I used to work at the Grand Illusion Salon in Decatur, Alabama. Mm -hmm. So all the mothers would bring in their daughters and they bring in their hair pieces. And you know, I'd set them and I'd do them. And I thought, what the hell? My little girl is 10 times more beautiful than these little girls. <laughs> so it's sort of a natural progression. Mm -hmm. And you know, you can tell in the womb if somebody's got it or not, and she did. You know, she well, what, what was a, what's a good sign? Like, what, what did you notice in her? Well, you know, I used to sing a lot when her mama was pregnant. And any time I sang something from a musical, she would jump a little bit, and I just knew that she had, like, music in her blood and in her body, and when she came out, she was just sparkling. Mm -hmm. Still is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, and I she learns the choreography so quickly. My next question, um, I, I don't want to get too personal. If there's anything you'd rather not answer, um, that's completely fine. But just so we have a full understanding, you were uh, in a relationship with a woman, uh, with Leslie's uh, mother. I was married to her mother, Wanda. Mm -hmm. Yes. We, had, uh, we were high school sweethearts. Uh, unfortunately, Wanda, I don't know how to say this, darling, once you come to the dark side. Let's speak, speak now. Yeah. Wanda had, um, <clears throat> well, she had a drug problem. Just a little teeny tiny, little tiny problem. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, um, that's actually how we got Leslie Ann. Um, there was a, there, she had a meth lab in her trailer. At, this is after the separation. Once he came out of the closet, Wanda, uh, Wanda got custody of Leslie Ann, um, which took her out of the pageant circuit for a while, by the way, which is next thing. And, uh, and um, uh, there was a meth lab explosion. She never did do drugs, though, when she was pregnant. No, no, I no. I want to go on record saying okay. that. That's why she <laughs> Does that look like a drug baby? That look like a drug baby. <laughs> now, uh, so when the explosion happened and the police came down, obviously arrested her. She was fine. She didn't die. Right. Mm -hmm. um, she, uh, and she was carted off to prison, and then we got to take Leslie and took her out of Alabama up to Louisville. Honey, will you plug your ears for just one second, please, for Daddy? Yes. Yeah. Her mother's a whore. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say, but she's a whore. And how long has it been since you've talked to uh, Leslie's mother, Wanda? Oh, she's sort of an itinerant mother, wouldn't you say? I mean, um, she left for four years. I completely lost track of her. I heard she was catering down in Alabama. Mm -hmm. She said she was some kind of a chef, but I'm sure she was just doing drugs. Wendy's. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Working the fast food. Exactly. Not, not hey. Wendy's. <laughs> uh, no doubt. Um, <laughs> so I lost track of her for four years. She resurfaced. A lot of times when she wants to get in touch with her daughter, mm -hmm. it's just because she needs the money, sadly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the last time I talked to her was six months ago, and she said she was working in a house as a, as a chef, a personal chef for some, you know, big wig. Probably still whoring, yeah. Oh, okay. You Always calling, quoting the, the Bible, <laughs> talking about Jesus like she's some Christian. Yes, oh yeah, I'm sure she's a good Christian. Yeah, sure. Leslie, <laughs> let me ask you, uh, you were obviously pretty young then when you left uh, your mom. Do you remember your mom at all? Do you miss her? Um, you know, I think about her sometimes, but I don't think about her all that much. I don't see her very often, and I don't have a lot of memories about her. Deb say that maybe I've blocked her. Uh, but it doesn't bother me. Occasionally, I have a dream like... I'm in the woods, and I think that has to do with mom. The trailer was in the woods. <laughs> but we do oh. keep a beautiful picture of her mother right by her bed, so she knows. Glamour shots <laughs> was one of the over the shoulder, and then the cowboy hat like mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. no, we have similar hair. Mm -hmm. well, Wanda was pretty, I'll give her that. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe let's move on to a, maybe a, a happier subject. <laughs> how, how did the two of you meet? When did you guys meet? Well, <laughs> you want to say anything? <laughs> I was performing at a drag club in Huntsville under the name Lauren Order, and uh, I had to go get. I had this wig, and and I'm I'm really good now. Now, after he has taught me some uh, over the years, some of the tricks. Of the yeah, day. I'm good with wigs and whatnot. But back then, I was just I was a mess. Really good with makeup, choreography, dresses, everything, but hair, I couldn't get it. I heard about his work at the Grand Illusion, so I went on over to Decatur. He set the wig. I, I mean, he's Honey, I teased that wig into the non configuration. <laughs> and it was, uh, <laughs> it was outrageous. Stop the show. Um, we, we flirted. I mean, there was some flirting there. Flirt, honey, you begged me to come to see your show. Whatever. So he uh, treks it on over to Huntsville, sees me at the club, and I still remember it. I walk out there to sing a uh, lip sync. Gina G's, ooh, I'll just a little bit. <laughs> Amazing, by the way. Still remember the choir. And I just saw him right there in the audience. And, you know, it was love at first sight. It really was. I mean, well, I guess second sight, I saw him at the, the, the hair salon. But but there was some, definitely a vibe when you walked in that day. Wow. Mm-hmm. I felt it. Mm-hmm. But, you know. It's and then I felt it later. Bye, bye, bye. The, fir- the first time you met Leslie Leanne, did you did you hit it off, the two of you? Look at this precious child. I mean, I'm not. I, so I, I feel like her mom, you know, mm-hmm. um, with the exception of giving birth. I mean, I have been. Oh, I feel I feel like you're my mom. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should still call him your mom. Uh, I could. What do you What do you call him now? Dad too. <laughs> uh, Leslie, let me ask you a question. Your your fathers have a very extensive uh, resume. They work with all the other pageant kids. Mm-hmm. They help them dance and prep and wigs and makeup and all that stuff. How does that make you feel? Does that is that is that uncomfortable at all when you see them helping other kids who want to win just like you do? Oh, it's fine because I know at the end I will win. <laughs> you know, and dad told me to do that, so you know it's not a big deal. I help them a lot. I help mentor the other girls and boys when they come through. And I think I'm, I'm really a big help to, to their whole business oh, they got going. Absolutely. She's the face, she's the face of our business. So you well, like helping people a lot, yeah? Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, what do you think you want to be when you grow up? You know, I, I think about it all the time and I think maybe a babysitter, cause I sit with kids <laughs> a lot. Or, you know, I wouldn't mind playing a doctor on TV. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or Miss America. She's a star. She's a star. Yeah, Branson. <laughs> Look out, Branson. <laughs> well, this is, the, this is the thing about Les Land. She's so talented and so far above the other girls, just naturally. I mean, just her ability to pick up choreography, mm-hmm. the saying. Uh, she's so facially beautiful. And she does not take a bad picture. So for her, she could, she could do these pageants in her sleep. I mean, the girls that we get that we're paid to sort of transform, oh, <laughs> oh Lord <God>. Jesus! <laughs> Lord Jesus, these girls just don't have it. I mean, you're either born with it, you have it, or you don't have it. So with her, it's effortless. So there really is sort of no competition. Mm-hmm. Can I really have to work at it. Can I ask a question about that? Um, if, if, if a large part of your income comes from coaching children that, as you just said, you, you feel don't have much of a Coaching, shot. Coaching, makeup, hair, choreography, posture, elocution. Mm-hmm. It's endless what these kids come in with. Nothing usually. Mm-hmm. And I mean, nothing. nothing. <laughs> and, and if the whole time, do you find it difficult to work with a child? If from the beginning you don't see any possibility for them to win or succeed? No, because you... we're so talented. Yeah. So you transform them into oh, something that could win. please. We're the best. A pageant. We're the best within, what, a 300 mile radius? I can say at least. Yeah. We're the best. And we you can take a butt ugly child and do what with them? Turn them into a winner. And your track record proves at least that. Second place. At least second place. <laughs> I've noticed that. <laughs> I've noticed that nobody. No, no. If they get second place, they don't come back to us. Nobody well, that you've coached no, no, though. No, no. Next to Leslie. That's well, right. oh, well, that's a given. Nobody you've coached has beat Leslie. Um, do you find that odd, or or is Sorry, that what's the question? nobody you've coached? No other child that you've coached in Leslie's age category has no. ever, has ever beat Leslie. Well, it's not possible. It's just not possible. And, and I guess like that's my question. Is, is, it, is it hard on your conscience to know, uh, given the track record, that you were coaching kids that it's standing no, 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 no. The no. kids go out no. and they do their stuff. If yeah. the judges don't like it, then they don't like it. And yeah. there are divisions that I'm not in. Those kids have a fair shot of winning something. Well, Leslie, it gives them something to hope for, too, yeah. you know, especially the younger kids. Leslie, have you ever lost a pageant? No. 
No, I've given up crowns, but I've, I've never lost. 27 national titles in a row. Don't <laughs> 27. Now, how many titles per year is that? Roughly six times a year. I don't keep wow. track. <laughs> I just keep the crowns. We have one room that's just for trophies. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> six would be impossible. Well, I mean, it couldn't be six. six. It couldn't be seven, six. Seven times six is six. Oh, yeah. Seven. Honey. That's all right. We won't make you do math. Um, so, will you? Will uh, will the two of you? Will you, so take, young, you will know. you take any uh, any child who comes through the door in terms of if the cash if the check cash is mm -hmm. take it. So you don't necessarily uh, do any sort of pre screen or requirements or anything. The only child I won't take is a child that doesn't try. And if a child doesn't try and give me one hundred percent and have some sort of passion, they're you out the door. You I don't. We, we don't. Have, we don't. We don't train losers. Mm. Like, as people, we don't train losers. And do you find that it's typical that a five-year-old can have passionate feelings about something? Do I find it difficult? Typical. Like, do you oh, think typical. that, yeah, can a five-year-old be passionate? I think so. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think so. Everyone wants to be pretty. Okay. Absolutely. Everyone wants to be good at something. Everyone wants... No, everybody that comes to us wants to be in the pageant. Yeah. Every child that comes to us, they are driven. You know, someone like Leslie Ann, she sets the bar. I mean, the bar is very high. And if they're coming to us, they have to work sometimes three, four jobs to afford us. Mm -hmm. So they want it. Yeah. And if they don't, and if in the end they don't, we take the $2,000 non-refundable deposit, give them the rest of the money, send them away. Yeah, send them all away. We don't need We're that. not going to force a kid. <laughs> We're not going to force a kid to do it. No, no, we have plenty of money. I, I, well, I wanted to ask about, do you see so your, your home is in Decatur? No, you, no, we live we in Louisville. Met in Louisville. Louisville. Now we live in Louisville. And have you ever have you ever considered um, moving away from Louisville? I, I know that Louisville is a pretty uh, diverse community as Kentucky goes. Um, but do you feel supported by your community? Like, are you able to be a, a couple that's out in the community? Do you, out? Uh, what do you mean? As a couple. Yeah. That's a, that hasn't been an issue. I mean, there's there's haters everywhere. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But uh, no, it's I think it's been fine. I think it's been fun. There's lots of, there's gay clubs, mm -hmm. um, you know, we're really involved with Leslie Ann's school. I don't know, like I haven't, no more than... Well, let's be, can we be honest? Sure. Say what you want to say. There, there's this idea, especially in the South, about roles and role playing, and it's very Christian. Uh, but we're both Christian. We're both Christian. Uh, but people always want to know who's the man and who's the woman, right? Well, they're sort of forced into this sort of gender identity. Yeah. Oh. And, you know, that, that that gets a little tiresome to me. Because I don't like people asking me personal questions. Mm -hmm. This is none of their goddamn business. Mm -hmm. Right? I don't ask them. I don't care who puts what where. So, yes, th there's a little bit of that. But I have a feeling, because we are so good at what we do, and we are a hot commodity, they check that at the door. If they're going to come and see us, they leave that alone. Because mm -hmm. they know. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. And I think when we, you know, when we first started, so let's talk about, like, within the pageants. Because, I mean, like, our community, like, the neighborhood, love us. We've been there forever. They, they sort of babysat Leslie and Leslie and now babysits their kids. Mm -hmm. um, but in terms of, like, the pageants, there was, there was I think, some drama at first. There was well, always going to be some drama. Because a lot of these women have never been around. Look at the husbands of these women. I mean, <laughs> please, these sissies. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, sissies. But, but have you seen the fathers sometimes well, in the audience? I mean, Throw out your hands, stick out your toes, <laughs> hands on your hips, give it a push, everybody's doing this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Please. But, you know, I, I think sometimes the... You know, there are some. There are some dads. And there are some moms out there. If the dads... That call dads. themselves real Christians. I ain't acting very Christian-like. Mm -hmm. And they say things, and they... They're not the ones that are bringing their kids to us, obviously. Cause well, they're just jealous. Yeah, they are jealous. And I think that's what it is in the end, it's jealousy. Well, they're jealous, too, because they're married to gay men themselves. Well, but even the ones that aren't, <laughs> I mean, I think they're jealous. And then, the, you know, I, but I feel like in the end, then we're kind of like a, we're opening eyes. We're opening, we're opening people's minds. Yeah, yeah. You well, know? I think we we're trailblazers. Well, we're we're like setting an the example. Ellen DeGeneres and the Rosie O'Donnell. Well, we have the looks, we have the money, we have the success, we have the beautiful daughter. We have everything they want. Mm-hmm. Leslie, do you ever get tired of doing pageants? Well, I never get tired of winning, but there are some times where, where you know, you've been doing the same thing 
over and, and over, but I always know once I get back into it, and my dad's keep it fresh with new songs and, and new dresses. So I don't know if, if tired is the right word. Well, I understand that pageants take a lot of time, and so you, you I, I, I'm told that you can't do any extracurricular school activities. Leslie has plenty of fun time. We've got the pool, you've got your friends. Yeah. They give me they give me a special dance lessons, so that's always something fun. And my dads have set up a blog that I manage <laughs> uh, to just keep people knowing about what I'm doing and what's going on mm. on the circuit. You know, wait for my fans to be able to track where I'm at. You have fans. Of course, I have fans everywhere I go. Does she have fans. <laughs> what kind of fans? How? I, the, all kinds. How do they? The big, the small. They look all different ways, and they're all like me. And what do they expect from you? They expect me to be beautiful. They expect me to put on a great show. And they, they do. Yeah, thank you. And, and they definitely expect me to win. And for $25, they'll get a signed headshot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You should see the glamour shots on her blog site. Oh my god. <laughs> now sometimes, now we, we moderate. We moderate. We're not going to just let anyone get there because there are some creepy men out there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Commenting all the time. On I well, they, they review the blog all the time. I don't ever respond unless the dad say it. Absolutely. I have uh, two questions, and I think we're about ready to wrap up. Leslie, can you show us your uh, family picture? Yeah. Please. Well, I made this for us. So this is me right in the center dancing because my dad's always put me in the center of attention. Mm -hmm. And I got a spotlight on me because that's sort of how it goes in my house. Mm -hmm. And then here my dad right here. Dad, we got dad one and dad two right on the sides. And they're clapping. That's why you can see there's some motion in their hands because they're always clapping for me right there on the side. And then I, I did it sort of like a princess, like a castle because it feels like we just, you know, we play a lot. It's a lot of, a lot of fun and make-believe in our life. And then I just put some some glitter and some swirls going around, just sort of fun and whimsy that and you fills look, our house. The blue dress brings out the blue in your eyes. I know you like blue. Color. And I have a big crown because I'm a princess, but I gave my dads a little crowns because they're, <laughs> they're the queen. We are the queen. <laughs> Say that again, honey. Oh, no. Never took a lesson. Never took a lesson. <laughs> look at that artwork. One, one, she can do anything. One quick last question. Uh, Kyle, are you still doing the drag show? Well, um... I do, I, I took a lot of time off, I took a lot of time off, but um, you know, he's been really supportive of me kind of getting back, myself back out there. Uh, I have been doing at Connections in Louisville, I have been doing uh, a weekend Liza Minnelli mm -hmm. thing, uh, number. He looks uh, beautiful as Liza. We have the same bone structure. Mm -hmm. um, he did a Mina Dell a couple couple of weeks ago. That was fantastic. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's bigger than I am. <laughs> Significantly. <Yeah. bigger> than <laughs> I am. When, this, when this one puts it on, he puts it on because he also has it with a capital I T. Mm -hmm. You do, darling. Puts yeah. on weight. What's that? Puts on what? Oh, oh puts it on the ta oh. oh, I'm Make sorry. The hair and the whole outfit. He's transfer. He just transforms himself. Wesley, can I ask you a question mm -hmm. um, before we finish up? There are a lot of little girls, as you probably know, that don't do pageants, mm -hmm. that have never done a pageant in their lives, and probably will never get to do a pageant. Um, how does that make you feel for those little girls, or what do you think about that? Bad girls. It's hard to think about those girls. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't. I'm not. A, I'm not around people like that very often. Mm -hmm. I feel like their their life must be very different. Must be very strange. You know, I don't know. I don't know what they do in a day. Mm -hmm. You know, how do they fill their time? Be interesting. Do you feel bad for them that they'll that they'll never have that experience? Do you think that it's made you a happier child to do pageants? Well, I feel I feel like it's nice to have people clap for you a lot. Mm -hmm. I think that that's a really really good thing. You know, it's something we've installed in Leslie Ann. He'll tell never you. look back. <laughs> you have to look forward. If you look back at the competition or look over your shoulder, it slows you down. She doesn't need to be slowed down. Let them try to catch up with her. There will always be pageants and there will always be titles, but there will never be any but one Leslie Ann Dubonnet. And I get a, and you're sense, at I get a sense that, that, that you guys are wondering if she ever wants to not do this. I'm going to tell you right now, if she, if, she said, if she came to us tomorrow 
and said that she wanted to quit pageants. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, take us Absolutely. down, ruin our careers. She wouldn't ruin our Go in the, ba- in the poor house. <laughs> no, 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 that would not, never happen. I'm kidding, baby. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> well, that's an awkward note to end on, so let's end on. <laughs>